Hello and welcome to Incredible Inverts on Other Animals with me, Phil. Now, if you're new to the channel, please do check out my other videos. We explore mainly invertebrates, but also some other animals as well. So, that's because I am a UK zookeeper and with my private collection. So, mainly feature my private collection of invertebrates on here. Uh, but I do have uh, reptiles, uh, amphibians as well, and I look after reptiles, amphibians, invertebrates within my day job, as well as other animals as well. So I do look after some birds, uh, some animals as well, and then also I've got a whole zoo uh, that I work at that I can uh, hopefully get some footage of of various animals as well. And actually, a quick update in terms of the zoo: we actually had uh, some new recent arrivals uh, that the zoo actually announced uh, just the other day. We actually now have two female clouded leopards within the zoo, um, and they are stunning, absolutely stunning. So do go on to the uh, the Shepherd of Wildlife Park social media, the Facebook page, or the Instagram, and you can see uh, a nighttime camera trap footage of them outside, uh, kind of playing with each other. So we've got two young sisters that come all the way from the Netherlands to here in sort of Cambridgeshire, Hertfordshire area of the UK. Um, First time we've had the species here, and they are fantastic. They're still getting kind of very used to us. Um, the keepers are working mainly with them, and also the public here. So, but they are starting to venture outside a bit. But hopefully, once they're a bit more sort of confident, I will try and get some footage of them because um, they are, as I said, they're absolutely beautiful. If you do not know what a cloud leopard is, do uh, have a bit of a Google search of them. They are stunning. So, then a little update from. Myself, I now have stickers for the channel. So, if you are interested in stickers, though, so if you collect stickers or anything, um, do hit me up and I will get some sent to you. And other channels out there that have stickers um, themselves, if you're up for doing some swaps, let's do uh, some sticker swaps as well. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. Now, today is a little bit later. Uh, going up than I planned, um, I was gonna had a few technical issues, so I did have a whole other video planned for this for today. And I'm all filmed, and so then during the editing process, uh, basically it failed. And so I've had to quickly make up another one um, for this one. But we're gonna have a look at a species of scorpion today, and I don't think I've actually done a scorpion video just yet. I do keep a few species of scorpion both privately, and then I've got species uh, down in the zoo as well but today we're going to talk about one of the many Asian forest scorpion species so this one I tend to call the giant forest scorpion so let's take a look okay so here we have the giant Asian forest scorpion or Heterometris longimanus and that's the name that is the most important the scientific name and there are a number of species known as Asian forest scorpions which is pretty much all of the Heterometris genus and there's a number of those in captivity but this one I tend to call the giant uh, just for myself as it tends to be one of the larger ones that we can currently get in captivity and adults can be anywhere between sort of 10 to 12 centimeters in length which is a fair size for a scorpion so this is one of my adults I think I do have a pair of these guys. I think this one is my female. So I mean, it's coming up probably to a molt. Uh, you can see it by the uh, the segments being uh, sort of fairly spread out. So I'm she's quite rounded at the moment. So these are a nice large black species of scorpion. They can also sometimes be referred to as the black emperor scorpion. Not to be confused with the true emperor scorpion from Africa. Which is Bandinus imperator. And these guys are Asian. That's just another reason why knowing the scientific names is so important uh, when it comes to keeping various invertebrates. Uh, these guys come across uh, Southeast Asia, so many places like uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines and also Singapore, where they inhabit the warm tropical forests. And so we need to replicate that in captivity. So slightly warmer than room temperature I find is good for these guys, as well as regular spraying to keep humidity up. And then feed them wise, I'll eat pretty much any invertebrate that moves. So crickets, cockroaches, locusts, you know, they will probably eat it. Now these guys, I find, are fairly defensive. They will sting if they feel the need. Now the sting will hurt, 
and the venom is not particularly potent. We call it a mild venom, uh, but it's not recommended to, uh, to even try it. So don't handle this species or any species of scorpion. I certainly don't recommend handling of scorpions. No, they don't like it. They don't want to be handled. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the giant forest scorpion. And uh, yeah, hopefully, by watching this video, you'll realise well just how important scientific names are. Whether you can pronounce it or not doesn't matter. Just have it down on a piece of paper or somewhere so you know exactly what species you get as there are a huge number of scorpions in the world and a lot of time they, we give them the same common names all the time. So Asian forest scorpion could be this species that we featured here today. Could mean uh, pit's eye which I also have or Lauticus or Spinifer or Kermani. There's a whole host of of them, and there's more than that as well out there. No, and essentially it's any kind of black scorpion within the, within the uh, Hetrometrius genus, which they pretty much all are. It's up that come from Asia, which they all do. So they're all kind of known in the hobby as Asian forest. So that's why it's important to know, especially if you're buying one, make sure you get the scientific name for it, and so we're not crossbreeding or trying to crossbreed uh, any uh, any species at all. I know, I know perhaps as well exactly whereabouts that one came from and um, what its parents came from as well and that can really can really help as well in trying to keep genetics pure for them when it comes to breeding. And again, really important to try and get captive bred stock uh, if you can. I know, especially with things like uh, Hedgehog Spinifer, I know, their numbers are starting to go down in the wild. I know, they kind of took over from the Emperor Scorpion, Pandina Simperita, which was really, really commonly kept uh, when I first started keeping uh, for many years and they were super cheap. But unfortunately, a huge amount were well caught, very rarely bred, although they're actually pretty easy to breed, so it just take a bit of time. And people weren't willing to pay sort of the money for, for the captive bred ones. So, which then mean actually the wild numbers depleted and so and CITES had to get involved and actually banned uh, the wild catching of the species which for me is a good thing I support not catching them from the wild but also meant that actually there's not as many emperors now in captivity and their price skyrocketed and, so, and potentially we could see the same thing with some of the Asian forest species because they kind of then took over in terms of popularity of a nice big species of black scorpion so, so we need to be careful of that so if you do keep the species any species of scorpion try your best to get them breeding so most of them just take time but actually they aren't too difficult so but on that if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please do subscribe and hit that bell for notifications and also please leave me some comments down below do you keep scorpions if so which species do you keep do you not keep scorpions but are looking into getting scorpions if you have any questions on husbandry of scorpions i'll do my best to answer those or at least point you in the right direction so again please do share this video if you enjoyed it as well until then i'll uh, see you next sunday when i release another video goodbye